Can you hear me? Yes. Technology, what is this? I know. Hi, hey. Joshua. Hey, hi. hi. Wait, wait, I... This is so hard to do. Don't bluff. I can see. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so of a certain age, okay, he's just like. <laughs> Let's. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> fail, fail, fail. <laughs> you put breast spray for what? What's going on? <laughs> we are on Zoom, dude. I'm wearing, I'm wearing deodorant, and you know what, guys? <laughs> Wow, you wow, professional. Win, win, win. Professional. Yeah. So do let me know which look you want. Okay, mysterious. <laughs> you do mysterious. I can do sultry. Hold on, wait. I need off the light or something. <laughs> okay. It's kind of effort, eh? Yeah. I think you got ah, competition, win, win. Win. Yeah. I got competition, yeah. eh? So, Josh. Wow. <clears throat> you've met Ben. So please meet Dwayne, our other Hi. partner in crime. Hi. Hi, Josh. Hi. People are telling me, hey, have you heard of Joshua Simon, Joshua Simon? And I was like, no, not yet. You should know him. You're Chindian or so. And I'm like, yeah, because all Chindians know each other. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. And then I said, no. Then they said, oh, he's on Han 98. I'm like, oh my God, I have heard him. I always hear oh. him when I go to 7-Eleven to buy things. It's oh. one of the... He, he, yeah, he's yeah. not Han 98. Not Han 98, but ben, on radio. Yes, yeah, it's power. Yeah, so I hear you power. on radio in... In in Seven Eleven, every time I go there, it's like, oh yes, I know, I know Joshua Simon then. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> for for all our viewers, Josh is uh, he presents the evening show. <laughs> Josh is good. It's on Kiss ninety two. And when you're dropping your single on Friday, what time? It will come out the moment clock strikes midnight. Oh, so between... so tonight, tonight midnight. Yeah. Ding, and yeah. Okay. By the time we edit this up and tomorrow we drop just our nice, just nice. video, then just it'll be nice. just when the grand is announced. What? Are you calling a cuckoo? You better rude. No, I'm calling Joshua. He's very into it. <laughs> I mean, like, when you've got the vibe, like, like this, you cannot just. Hey, oh, hey, hey, then you all go and turn off the light, also, lah. I can't. Hey, 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 Google, turn off room lights. <clears throat> Hey, yo, hey, hey, you look green, lah. Oh. Hey, not bad. Hey, Actually, this is quite good. Nice to blue. Oh, it is? Okay. Hmm. Oh, this? <laughs> I'm in space. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like some crazy <laughs> one. Hey, Google, give me disco. <laughs> I can give me disco. Let me find my app. I, oh, I my gosh. It's controlling my, my Google Assistant. <laughs> hey, Google. <laughs> oh, don't play disco, please. <laughs> Hey Google, don't listen to Hosan Leong. Yeah, you can choose what color you want. Yeah, Google. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys, what is this? <laughs> What's going <Stop>. on? <laughs> See, wait, 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 wait. Hosan, it, it autoplay Kylie Minogue. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Your that's Google right. knows me so well. Mm. <laughs> horrible, horrible. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go into this because I I mm. I listened to your song. Uh, okay. All, all all I want to do, yes. um, and basically Ben and Dwayne as well. We and we. Oh, they have. Yes, yeah. because we need to do our our reaction videos too because you, Nick Shields did his right. Yeah. Yes. You never you never showed us what he how he reacted. So well, I will. Uh, I will. No, 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 it's okay. We 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 will give you our reaction. So Dwayne, yeah. what did you think? Of all I want to do. I thought it was great. <laughs> Sorry, I want to disappear. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Cause it sounds, I want to disappear. You, you have figured out, cause like everyone, I swear, like so much has changed, like the world, right? But also, like with music, it's like everyone is just like, if you release a song, you better have a TikTok challenge ready. And I'm just like, <laughs> but like that was essentially what we're we we figured we're gonna do. We're just gonna get people to like. Disappear. Yeah, I liked it. I, I mean, I love the chorus. It was really, really fun. Yeah. And it got me moving. And the, that was the first thing in my head. Okay, I can do that. Zoom. Wait, yeah. doing, okay, doing, doing. Like, okay, because yes. we can sort of guess Hosan and Benjamin sort of like 
date of birth period. Doing, are you like my generation? Are you like slightly like senior or? I don't know what your generation is. I only heard you at 7 Eleven. Okay, well, what is okay, your generation? No, because like Jose is like, he graduated 20 years ago. Wait, like, go la. You know what I mean? And then Benjamin is like, it's my, it's my year. He has, it's my he has year. the library named after him. You know what I mean? Like, huh? he's the young guy. Like, yeah, so that's, that's Ben. So like Dwayne, like when were you born? I was born in the eighties, the early eighties. Okay, okay, all right. So so like, but you get the whole like big diva like anthem. Thing. We all so what? We all so what? These two uncles so so. <laughs> I told you already. I got a new about best it. Indian friend. <laughs> High five. Where you are? But. I... Well, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you both talk amongst yourself? Yeah, right? okay. <laughs> it's so irritating. <laughs> yeah, but, but it was a really, I, really fun song. Exactly. And then I, 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 I told you, Josh, that I thought the music was, in, it, it, it was uplifting. And oh, it's okay. very modern erasure. It's like erasure, but now. So, yeah. Yeah. So, anthem, big anthem diva. Right. No, I, I, I told no, I'm, you know I'm playing. But yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> it, it's it's I mean like I, I just wanted to do something colorful, you know. So like I mean just yeah. like watching Dwayne's reaction just now and like just immediately doing the whole disappearing thing. Like that is essentially what the song is, you know. Like I, I just feel like on my last album I was so intense and I was going through a lot in my yeah. life and like it's not just with the music but like it's also like how I was when I met people as well, like Jose, like when we met, when we met during that period, like I was just like dark cloud has yeah. entered my body, you know, and it's raining inside me. So like now it's like, I'm just a lot more, and I'm in such a happier place that I kind of just want to like exist and protect that space, mm. you know, and then wow. COVID happened. So <laughs> I'm, still, I, I'm still doing that while this is going no, so, on. So which is what we want to ask you, why, why do you release it now? When, when, when I wrote the song, that was when the fears were starting to come in, in Singapore, you know? Mm. But it was mm. still, like, mostly in China. Singapore just closed the borders. But, like, I think there was still a part of us, you know, because there's still a couple of weeks where we were still just living our lives, where we thought, okay, it's not going to come here. It's not going to come here. It's not going to come here. So if we felt that, America felt that, like, tenfold. And we can see we can see that play out. We have seen that play out, and, and the consequences of that. Um, so when I was going through that here, I was starting to feel like, okay, things are starting to get a bit rough. Mm-hmm. Let me go into the studio and re- record the song now. So like, mm-hmm. actually, everything happened really fast. So like, I went into the studio like three days after writing the song, um, wow. recorded it. We finished. We only did two recording sessions of the song. The first time was like most of the, 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 the takes of my vocals. The second time was just like re-editing things. Like there was actually a bridge. We made some things longer, some things shorter. And then that was when we started going into like full blown, you know? Mm. And then that was when I heard from like my district, like I work, have like a small deal with, uh, with Ditto Music. So they are in London, in Australia. So they just handle the distribution. I'm still an independent artist. And they were like, okay, everyone's working from home, including all the music editors, because like, it's not as straightforward as like, okay, you have a song, upload it onto YouTube like that. No, it's like, yeah. you send it to your distribution service people, and then they have to pitch it to all these different Spotify editors and everything so that they know the song exists. Because all like songs come out on Friday, right? So like oh, tomorrow yeah. we have songs from Gareth Fernandez, Theodora, we have songs from Major One, we have like, another big secret project that's coming out tomorrow as well. Um, doesn't include me, but like when you hear about it, it's like quite insane. There is a Leon Marcus with a song tomorrow. There's Vendetta, Vanessa Fernandez has a oh, song tomorrow. Okay. So, so many people are putting out songs all, and it's always on Friday. So how does Spotify know your song exists? Your, your label has to pitch it to them and say, this is the kind of song that we have. What kind of like playlist can you put it in? Mm. And this mm. whole process takes a while especially mm. now that everyone's working from home. So I just got, like, I got a message from my, my label people. They were like, it's going to take three weeks just to even have your song out. So I need your artwork, which is your photo shoot, everything done in three weeks. And I'm just like, 
I need to get a photo shoot done before yeah. we are told to stay home. Yeah, it's like run around, get clothes, buy a whole bunch of stuff, try different looks. And like, we did like four different photo styles just in case one doesn't work, we can reshoot. We have another complete different palette. So right. we've got like one black and white one, one super hyper colorful one. So it was just a scramble to get everything done. And then when everything was done, then your question came up, which was like, why release it now? Because um, Lady Gaga's al album was supposed to come out 10th April. And then she canceled it. And I was curious to oh, see how people react. Yeah, she, she moved it. Like, we still don't know when it's coming out. So then I was curious, like, how are the fans going to react? You know, because for Lady Gaga, it makes sense. Because she, she has so many people's jobs under her. Right, mm -hmm. she needs to go on Jimmy Fallon and Ellen to promote it. She needs to do her radio, like her, her full on tour to get people to like the whole marketing engine to get people to know about Lady Gaga's new music, right? So she has to do that. So because she can't do that, she has to cancel it and postpone it. I get it. But what about an independent artist who's not going to be doing a radio tour? Who's not sure. going to be going on Ellen, you know? Um, this come on our thing. show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, we can have fun, right? It's like, oh, we can just like. like we can use this gap to just have like a clear moment to just put out, you know, for independent artists to put out music and just own the space. Because when all this is done, it's going to be crazy saturated. Like there's going to be like 7,000 movies in cinemas. There's going to be like every rave party and music festival happening. Everyone's going to try to make up for all the losses that they've had. They're going to have like promotions left, right, left, right. It's going to be like noisy overload. Like something noise overload, right? So like, why don't I talk about the disappearing thing now? Mm. Okay, <laughs> you know, so like, and and also like just to like a short answer, so long that, but, but like um, <laughs> just a really short answer is like I wanna be able to release something and have it be out there and promote it and talk about it when I'm in that state, you know. Mm. Like, I don't want to talk about something and then like, oh yeah, I'm not in that same hit space anymore. I've, I've moved on. So, you know what I mean? Like, I like where I'm at now and this song is exactly where I'm at right now. So it's very good because we, 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 we see you now so optimistic, so positive. Um, and, and, and for want of a better word, bubbly, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, the, and the optimism is shining through because we listen to all your other songs too, you know? Uh, so like Ben, you, you've you've heard Josh's other other yeah, material. Yeah, yeah. Ben, and I want to see you react to Cherry. Have you heard the lyrics? I, I, yeah. I'm afraid to say no, I haven't. <laughs> well, but I will, I will, to, I will. You can listen to it later. It's all yeah. about his black his black cherry. So, anyway, oh shoot, sorry. Did I just say that? Okay. <laughs> okay no, is it a phone? Is a phone? Spoiler, is it a spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> But um, this, this, so there's always this underlying tone, this melancholic tone for all your songs. Mm -hmm. But this song, suddenly to me, is this burst of, like you say, color. Yeah. Um, what was that turnaround? Why suddenly there's color in your life now? I think um, it's, it's very strange because if you actually like read the lyrics, um, like I sent the song to uh, Vanessa Fernandez and um, I, I think different artists listen to songs differently, right? Mm -hmm. So for Vanessa, for Nick Shields, like they go straight to the lyrics, you know? Some people just hear like, the, like they listen to the song and they see colors. And mm -hmm. the truth is, yeah, the song is really colorful. It's very vibrant. And Vanessa just said the song is like really vulnerable and sad and dark at its core. And I'm like, yeah, actually, like when I first wrote the song <laughs> without the instrumental, like the song was a general entry because like the fears of the COVID thing was starting to creep in. Mm -hmm. um, like projects started to get canceled for me. Like I was supposed to do an interview in Mumbai. We were on the show, Ben, you know, like we were on the show. We were going to do, I, was, I, I told you I was going to go to India. You know, I was so excited for that. And then yeah. like, got cancelled you know so like everything started to like it just started to turn gray you know and i could tell like my mind was starting to get bad so i started writing those lyrics um and then um i found this producer from brazil kylan who made this like super he, he wanted to work with me and i want to work with him but he made this like super fun vibrant song and the moment i heard it i'm like i don't know how to write a happy song because it's like 
I don't want to be like, oh, you're awesome. like I don't like that kind of like super in your face obnoxious happy. You know, like I've never <laughs> like I've never liked like life is awesome. Like I've never liked those kind of songs. You know, because like I do think that even in like like the happy moments, there's always a little bit of tenderness, you know, and, and even when, in, when you're in your darkest days, there's always still a bit of light. I don't like complete one side, you know? So when I heard this song, I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to write a happy song. So, um, so then um, I was like, okay, well, then I'm not going to write a happy song. I'm just going to combine these two worlds together and <clears throat> a little bit and then see if it works. And then it worked. And ever since I recorded that, like, I've just been more colorful because of the song. Because I would still have, like, moments of anxiety where I'm unsure of myself. And, like, I'll, I'll have, like a, like, a rough moment. Like, okay, I have a question. Hosen, Ben. What? Okay, Dwayne, as well. You're all slightly older than me. Slightly. In your week, right? In your week. How often do you feel like a dip in your mood or something bad happens or there's a <laughs> sad moment that happens in your week? Is it pretty consistent for you? Was any go first? How's Dwayne doing? Me? Uh, <laughs> not sporadically, la, but not, not every time. La, but Dwayne is like, it's like, it's like, it's like Little Miss Sunshine, you know? Like, Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I have down times, but, but I usually I'm quite positive, like, usually. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Who's yeah. that? I, 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 I'm also pretty much quite like that, you know? Uh, but I get, for me, I, I try not to let things affect me because then I go into this negative space and then I start tweeting rubbish and then Ben will call me and say, get it off Twitter now. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> And then I go, yes, because I get up at four in the morning and I'm blur and I'm reading this and I get, I react to it and I reply right. and then it's right. not the right time because I'm mm. not in the right space. Haven't okay. brushed deep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think the same has happened to me as well. So it's been, uh, I vacillate between really infectious optimism, just cheering everybody up and then after that, super moody. About maybe yeah. every two hours. Okay. <laughs> so Ben and I are quite similar then because it's like because like I hear that like you know as you grow older because you've lived a lot more like sadness doesn't sting as much you know Ooh. like a lot of emotions aren't as visceral you know because you've kind of seen like the trade-off mm. for it I think you it depends know? on the personality of the person though because yeah, some people you know, they, they, they feel a lot more. Mm, I'm yeah. more I'm more knee jerk. So if something happens, I'll react. And then mm, right. after that I'm fine. Mm. Um yeah, so that that's me, you know. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I don't try to hide it, I don't suppress it. I allow you know, I need to cry, I will cry it out and then I move on. I think so that's I'm not good. the kind of <clears throat> instead there I I'm okay, I'm okay. If I'm not okay, I will not be okay. And then I will write that not okay with and then I'll be okay after that rather than suppress it and try to be happy about it. That's how I deal with emotions. Now. Okay, so, so far, Hosan is very sort of reactive, right? He responds to the things that happen around him. But, yeah, he tries I, to but I, try to solve, I try to solve the problem. That's, the, that's my problem. And some okay. problems cannot be solved and it gets to me. Okay, and then for Dwayne is you let yourself feel every single thing that happens you you let make sure you process all your emotions i process it but i don't allow myself to wallow in it if i know it's not it's going to lead me to a negative place yeah okay and then for ben how do you how do you handle it uh, well it's been different for the last couple of years now because i've been working for this agency right so i've got a team of eight people under me and they are quite young so okay. i i do need to keep it in control <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and not affect the rest so because you know if, if you are falling apart and everything it just really does affect the, the rest of the team yeah. yeah that's why we all call each other yeah I like are that yeah right yeah no no the others yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah. so we call each other no 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 the other side, the other side. <laughs> oh so we call each other <laughs> <laughs> we all have different screens I think I'm yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah we do <laughs> just bent ones 
<laughs> but why, yeah. why, why, do you, why do you ask that question though? Because it's yeah. like, I, I feel like, because like I can be in a really happy place, right? Mm. But for me, see like you're responding to things around you. So far mm-hmm. I've managed to stay out of drama as much as I can. Like I try mm-hmm. not to chase anything that I know I don't want to be a part of or I know I'm not going to be able to handle. Um, I actually, for Dwayne, I don't actually allow myself to process my feelings as much as I used to. Because I, I, there was a two-year period where I processed and went through mm-hmm. like the whole spectrum to a point where I'm just so exhausted of emotions, mm-hmm. you know? And then when it comes to Benjamin's answer, I do that too. I try to like, oh yeah, I told everyone I'm in a colorful place, you know? So I have to wear the makeup. I have to keep in drag in the same look of drag that I'm doing for this period. It's you know? Life. So like I'm doing all three <laughs> of those things. And on top of that, like I feel like for my thing it's more of triggers. Like I feel like for me it's always like a little bit of trauma. Like it's like if I've had something bad happen to me before or a bad run in or a bad uh. breakup or something. Like the slightest things that kind of feel like that, I go into like anxiety mode. Mm-hmm. So um, bringing it back to my song is why it sort of made me a lot more colorful is that the song is this powerful, vibrant, larger than life version of myself, you know, but it's not the version that I am all the time. Actually, it's hardly the version I am, you know, like this song sort of like takes a photo of what I can be, you know? So I remember like two weeks after we recorded the song, I was having like a really bad, like anxiety moment and I was panicking and I started to say all I want to do is disappear because that's a phrase that I kept saying regardless of whether the song exists or not like I always like fantasize about disappearing and I say Mm. fantasize because even though it is sort of suicidal ideation but in a strange way it comforts me because it's almost like if I exclude myself from all this then I'm excluding myself from the narrative that's causing me um my 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 causing all the stress right now right right so I, I started to say that, and then I realized that, oh yeah, I wrote a song about that. Like it, I completely forgot that I wrote a song that says all I want to do is disappear. So then I listened to the song and I just felt better because I could hear my own voice, but in like mm. a larger than live drag version, you know, <laughs> saying that to me, you know. So this song, and I'm still learning things about it, right? The, the whole experience is that it captures what I can be. You know, it's like, like if Hosan, like you've played so many different roles, you know, like you've done so many different characters, you've memorized their lines, you've gone into the psychology for all these characters, right? And like, can you think of a character that you played that sort of captures Hosan at this particular level, you know? Oh, yeah, no, 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 because... Every time you do a character, you, you live in that moment. Mm. And um, yes, you draw, and you draw experiences and, and, and emotions from your own psyche to, yeah. to play the character. And, and I must say that it depends on which stage of your life you are. I played Miss Prism four times, five times. And every time I play mm. her, or this character is different because mm. I've matured. And so I'm taking in so many more, you know, stimulus from I, that I can to play this person. So I think, to answer your question, I, I, I don't think that at any one point of time, I can play me in that, you know, that, 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 that time, that the yeah. character. Yeah. yeah. It's like a jigsaw puzzle every time I, I go on stage. And every night is different. <laughs> Yeah. So interesting. Yeah, it's it's a bit like that. I'm a bit like you know uh, uh, what's wrong with me, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I having the whole skill set, all different skill set. Like, no, it's how, a, yeah, yeah, exactly. And and and, peop, and like Dwayne would would probably have a different method from from me to, yeah. to act, you know. Mm-hmm. So so for me, it's very. I'm a, like I said, I'm a very reactive person. So it changes every night. So one actor might say the same thing to me the same way, but I will react a different way. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. I think uh, in, in that respect, even though I have to keep up a mask, uh, I think I'm, what I'm good at is playing what's in front of me. 
uh, whatever yes. the situation is and just be in the moment because you deal with it much better uh, if you if you see what's in front of you you play to just be present in the moment deal with whatever's in front of you and then get it over and done with um, yeah. And, uh, yeah I think that's been working for me in the last couple of years lah. Yeah, and you've done wonderful, Ben. I mean, I've seen yeah. you grow, you know, in this in this job that you're in. So it's yeah. really amazing to watch. Um, so after this, now I mean, now that you've written the song, it's releasing on Friday. You have exhaled. Mm. What next, yeah. Joshua? Next. I'm really, honestly, really scared to think of next okay. because I feel like for this song, it has the most like potential to like. Like, it's the poppiest song that I've ever written. Yeah. It's the, sure. most, uh, the most colorful. It's the most accessible song for anyone to get into it and enjoy it, you know? And I feel like like my, my, my boss in radio, he didn't have to do this, but he did. He sent the song to radio stations in London, to New York. Wow. To, wow. to Australia. And he did all that. And, and he's playing it on KISS 92. Oh, and really? Like, yeah, and even though I work in Kiss ninety two, I've never had any of my friends in Kiss ninety two. Wow, because you know I mean? it's like so, so like all these cool things are happening. And a friend of mine um, jumped on to be a PR person for me. Like she she is in PR, but then I just never thought of like, huh? Why don't can you help me out? You know, okay. she just jumped on like she just decided to do that, and then she wrote like a whole like fresh press release for me, and then mailed mm. it out to my feed journalist. Um, <coughs> I just sent the song yesterday. Um, the director of Greatest Showman, Michael Gracie, it's like we oh. still kept in touch. So he, I just sent him the song uh, this morning. Um, we got someone to to reach out to Apple Music, to to Spotify. So all these cool things are happening now. Good. And it's like this big push, and I'm I kind of just want to see it play out and see if anything happens, you know? Okay. But the thought of me having to go through this whole process again to be like. Hey Rachel, can you help me out with another press release? Or hey Jamie, remember those emails you sent to London and New York? How about for the next single? Like I, a part of me is now just like afraid, you know, that like because I I do have more to offer, but it's just no. like for right now the process of spending money to make a song and then sending it to Australia to get it mastered and then like all the different pieces when you're doing it all by yourself and you have to hustle and grind the pre-production production and post-production by yourself it's a lot like it's mm. it's a lot to, to like to take on just to like put yeah. a song out you know i think don't don't overthink it at the moment yeah. take oh, it one day at a time thing. i know i know exactly <laughs> just what you do take it one because when we when we did when we did hosanna 50 together it was scary yeah. because it was a, an undertaking that I never did a show by myself terrifying. Then, on, such, on such a big scale. Mm. And we just took it one step at a time and it all fell into place. So that's all I can advise you. So don't stress about it. You know, no okay. point. No point waste energy. You know? mm. so, it, so on that note, I just want to say that uh, Dwayne has something to help you not stress out. Mm. <gasps> are you going yeah. like, to cleanse my chakra? No, <laughs> cleanse your scalp, maybe. <laughs> freshly shampooed. It's beautiful. You have a very nice head shape. Thank you. Yeah. So, so Dwayne will take. Yeah, yeah, now. Now. Okay. Well, yes, now, now. <laughs> Wait, what's your... I'm so confused. So, so basically, um, I mean, because you have to meet different people, right? On, I'm sure this is your first time on Zoom, but it's not going to be your last because there's going to be multiple Zoom meetings and you want to have a different impression each time. So, okay. um, I, I feel that uh, it's important, and especially because you can't go to the barbers and you can't go to the salons now. So, it's always important to keep these, these items in your house so that you can make different impressions during your different Zoom meetings. So, this is one. <laughs> this is a bit more reggae kind of feel. Um, just a bit, uh, it's a bit unkempt, you know, you just want to be a bit more casual about things. Like, hey, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. Cool. Yeah, I like singing, you know. So that's one option as well. Then um, if you want to do a bit more disco, <laughs> then maybe um, 
I mean, this might work for you as well. So it depends cool. on the kind of style, the kind of vibe or who you're talking to, or you want to go punk. <laughs> then uh, you might want to try this. Um, yeah. So, oh my God, that is my favorite one so far. That is yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So this is one profile, Site profile. Site profile. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Come on, children. <laughs> Yes. And sometimes you might want a catfish, right? So <laughs> catfish. Oh. What is a catfish? <laughs> Never a catfish. So just in case you Hi, I'm Sally. <laughs> just just pretend you're somebody else. Like a girl, just in case, you know? And then um if you want if you want reggae music, so this can be your man, a different type of song. And you maybe you don't do that, but yeah, different kind of song. And then we're just really stressed. <laughs> Is he Gemini? Bam! Oh, oh my god. god. What's up, man? This is what happens after six weeks of being in the house. You know, everything just rolls out because this is the Rick and Morty. Here. I love it. Yes. Yeah, it's it's just for for <laughs> Ben and Ben, this is the back to the future. Yes. Hello. Yeah, correct. <laughs> it's not our time. Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> it's our time. Don't mind. <laughs> Very Basket. rude, no? though. Yeah. This is not quite nice, huh? Okay, mm. so yeah. that, that, that is that because Dwayne, Dwayne mm. shares the same uh, head shape as you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dwayne does. So that's yeah. why he has all this in his wardrobe. <laughs> and he was so prepared for Circuit Breaker, I tell you. Yeah. Um, ben, do you have a question of the day for, for Josh? Um, do you have it? No, I oh, No, I lost, I lost the okay. document. So basically, every guest on our show gets mm. to ask a question which we don't know the, don't know the answer to. to. And mm. we don't refuse to Google to find out. So we mm. ask our yeah. guests and you can tell us whatever mm. bullshit comes out of your mouth. We'll and we will you. take it as truth. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Why is the bath toy a rubber ducky? Right. Why? I don't, don't understand. Know. I don't know. Why is it rubber ducky? Why does it have to be a duck? Why? So tell us, Josh or Simon, why? Okay, so the year was 1842. <laughs> okay, an Italian New Yorker named Stephanie Germanata, okay, was, oh. you know, fresh off dance class. You know, she got into, <laughs> she drew herself a bath, you know. And while she was in there, a duck flew in. From where? <laughs> From New From Jersey. Where? From where ducks fly in from, so, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, and then it sat there, okay, and then she looked at it and she said, this is good. And then she went into um, production, she's always wanted to be an entrepreneur, so she was like, you know what, I had this incredible like spiritual moment with this duck, with duck. You, want to <laughs> you know, um, so she started Rubber Duckies, and then ever since then, you know, it's been a child's best friend. Aww. Wow. Oh, yeah. Very good. That will be in the official record. Yes, yes thank you have. very much. Yeah. And, 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 and before we end this wonderful interview, uh, you've told me before you didn't have a music video to go along with All I Want to Do. Oh my God, Dwayne. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> what? Are you, so, are you, <laughs> why are you looking at him? Are you getting Dwayne to do the whole music video? So, this is our gift to you. Uh -huh. We have a music video which you can send to all your distributors of All I Wanna Do. All right, Joshua Simon, because you are amazing and yes. you believe. Yes, you are. Yeah. And after this, we're going to post this all over our socials that this is your song. Okay, but I mean, we don't have to do the music video, but it will be going yeah. out as well because a parody is, means you are the best. <laughs> Yellow. Okay, are you ready? Come on, Ginger Bauer. I want yeah, to see it. Oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. okay. We are going to do this. Here is Joshua okay. Simon's All I Want to Do. The music video. Unofficial. Okay. Here we go. I'm so scared. Music. <laughs> Swift to lift oh A stranger with a heavy heart And each time I risk it I call upon my mother's love Go how I do It's to feel so feather light To one day take flight
Ethiopia. Boom. Thank you, oh thank my you, you. <laughs> So there you go. We have a music video just for you. And Dwayne did it all at home because cannot go outside. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Kantong? That was incredible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna download that. <laughs> we will we send that to you. We'll send we need to, to you. have this one, this version play at Tantric. You know, they'll play on the screens. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, can someone send it over? Yeah, yeah we, I'll send it to you. <laughs> Don't worry. No. <laughs> So that was your reaction video to your own music video. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, so insane. How good is so it? Yeah. Oh jeez. So thank you so much, Josh. Um, um, we are gonna do all this and upload it, and then you're gonna have this on YouTube tomorrow to thank help you. with your single. All I want to do. Um, yeah. So it's available on all the platforms. It'll be available on everywhere, um, <laughs> but like I think mostly people listen on like Spotify and Apple Music. Mm, sure, so I can check it out there. <laughs> and the music video will be on our channel. Yeah, the music video will have its like new premiere. Uh, we buy ads. I work at FDH and we have the screens that we buy. Right? <laughs> Actually, I'll just pump in a whole bunch of Instagram ads. You know, I think that's yeah. Why not? Idea. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. So thank you once again. Uh, thank you. Um, please say hi to your family for me. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dwayne, by the way, Dwayne can be like my um, stuntman, actually. Can? Yeah, why not? Why not? not? Yeah. Yeah. Can Indians, be. all Chinese do alike. Yeah, they all do alike. All yeah. Chinese look alike. All Chinese do alike. Correct, right. They know all Chinese know each other and look alike. <laughs> and all on 7-Eleven. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <Not> yes. <laughs> no, like, yes. Oh, no. Okay. We're going to end guys. Um, yeah. the Lauren Ibsen show and thank you so much once again. Have fun. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. 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 Bye